Hey folks, Todd here from Great Escape Farms. I am standing in front of a greenhouse that we built on the cheap. So this greenhouse cost, uh, we act, the actual spend was about $180. It, we did have some donated parts like the, uh, the plastic on the top. So had we bought the plastic and everything, this was priced out at $220 or $230. So less than $250 as it sits here, all hardware included and everything set to go. We built this during a permaculture class that I was in. So I'm standing in front of the uh, front door here right now. If you notice, there is a rope that we have screwed onto the, the sleds here. And let me show you the sled. The sled, if you'll notice, has an angle on it. And the angle is both on the front and the back. It is designed to be portable. So as long as you don't have anything in it, you can just slide it along. It takes two people, myself and one other person did it today and we slid it around where we needed to. Uh, we actually built it back there and then we slid it up here. So it's a little bit off level right now and hopefully it will take care of that. We have a string here so you don't get locked in on the latch and we'll open it up and it is a good 20 degrees warmer in here right now and just a beautiful design. It was built with cattle panels right here as far as the roof so it should stand up to any uh, snow or anything that comes on us. If it gets too hot in here, we do have a window in the back that we can open up and let it air out on. And around the edges here, we have uh, pipe insulation to prevent the pipes from, to prevent the cattle panel from poking through the plastic there. And showing you the full design here. So the cattle panels, they are 50 inches wide by 16 foot long. And down at the bottom, we put, I think they're called fence staples right here. And then each one has a fence staple. We just put a two by four underneath them right here. And that's what lifted it off the ground. And then we hammered it in going straight across where the cattle panels come together. We took some stainless steel wire tied them off just to put it together one thing we did not think about was the tips right here and after the fact we added some uh, duct tape in to prevent it from poking holes in the plastic before we did that we did have a couple of holes that we put in the plastic so we just took some clear plastic tape and put over that and let's see some of the other features here we have a board on the front so that prevents the window from going too far we have the wire right here preventing the window from totally flapping down and let me back up and go outside and show you what we did so uh, we pulled the plastic on here pulled it on tight and we actually stapled it right here and then over top of the staples we put this wood the staples by themselves would pull out with a good wind blowing around. However, with the wood on top, that will add enough security and everything to prevent the plastic from getting pulled out. So let me go ahead and close this up. And we did stick there. Uh, you'll notice that there is a gap right here. What I would do personally, if, if this were mine and I recommended to the owner is take some of this foam right here and kind of put it in the center or on this piece right here just kind of staple it on that would secure that up all the way around and do the same with the window on the back and that would make it a little more airtight let's get a good side view of it so the dimensions here are eight foot two inches by seven foot wide and nice little cheap greenhouse for less than $250. This is the back side looking at the window. And I, again, I locked it inside, but uh, on the inside, but this window opens up as a vent. And again, I would add the pipe tubing or something around right here to insulate and prevent air from just blowing through. This bottom piece right here is permanently attached. You could probably actually make a separate door on the back side if you wanted. And we'll come around here. So beautiful little structure here. This can be modified a lot of different ways. So this is the structure that I have plans for. 
and I have modified mine. I actually added on one section over here, so I went out 12 foot long, and I did not put plastic on. I put shade cloth on mine, and instead of using two by fours on the bottom, I used two by eights, and I added a walkway in the center and with two by eights, which left two beds on each side. And I put in concrete sand and made a propagation bed out of it. And the reason I did that was to keep deer out. So I had the uh, cattle panel on the sides there. In the front section here, I used two by four fencing. And the two by four fencing prevented deer from getting in on the front. So in a 12 foot section for mine, I can get $5,000 a product and a deer could ruin that in just one night. So I have to keep the deer out. You still have to worry about rabbits and stuff because they can get in through the cattle panel. So if you put in chicken wire or something in addition to it going around, that would keep them out. But a rabbit is not gonna cause that much damage overnight. Let's see, what else have I seen this used for? I've seen it similar to this, again, with the fencing up front, no plastic over the top, but they did put a tarp over the top and they used it for a chicken tractor and they moved it once a day and they actually had one guy picking this fence up and moving it around just one guy by himself moving it and they had from the ceiling hanging down a five gallon bucket with water with little chicken nipples on it so that they could drink the water and then the feeders were in there and they just pulled it very very slowly and the chickens kind of moved along with it I think they had 50 or 60 chickens in one of these and uh, it, it was the fryer type the type that you, you don't keep around for too long so but uh, this certainly worked for them for a season and I as far as I know they're still using that so anyhow that's it for this episode this is Todd with Great Escape Farms please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and comment below if you have any other thoughts or any other uses for something like this thank you very much and have a great day